What's going on everybody? This is John Bain and welcome to a sponsored video from G Portal. We're going to show you how to get and set up your own soul mask server through G Portal. It's pretty simple to do. So let's just jump right into it. So initially, if you have an account already set up on G Portal, you'll see below I'm already logged in. You'll be able to get your own server directly, or if you have a cloud with them already, you can add it to your cloud. I currently have a cloud with G Portal, so I add my new servers through that interface, but I just wanna show you if you don't, you just come here and choose your own order now, simple as that. You can also create your own configurations, which allows you to choose how long you want to last, how many slots you're trying to get. I don't know if you're, if you got a thousand people to play games with and then rock and roll. Anyway, so you have a variety of ways in which you can rent your own server. If you already have your own cloud space, you'll have an option here to add server. You can click add a server, and then you can go through and choose a variety of servers that we want. We're gonna do soul mask. There it is there. You can click on it and you can choose your slots initially. It'll tell you the max amount, 42 there. Well, that might be how many I have left. But anyway, we're gonna do 10 right now and choose add. And what it does, it'll create the server for you and add it to your interface. Then once I got that, you can just go right into it by clicking on it. And inside here, you'll find all the interesting vitals and whatnot. Now, the initial page is your status page. This is consistent with all servers from G Portal, which has uh, at the top, you can copy your IP and port. Tells you how many active players are on the server currently, CPU usage and RAM. You can see if things are feeling wonky, if it's actually spiking on the hardware or not. And then down here, you have your access data. I use FTP a lot. I personally use a program called WinSCP to access my server files that way. A lot of people use FileZilla. Uh, they have everything here with an easy little copy. So you don't have to sit there and, you know, just try to highlight it just right to how browsers can be. Anyway, you've got this here. And then further on down, you can verify your game files like you do normally with Steam in case something's being kind of crazy. Now, if you don't like using, if you don't like using WinSCP or FileZilla, you can go directly to the file manager and it's similar-ish, so if you prefer using a browser, it's already built in here for you. You can add new directories, create new files, whole nine yards, the whole gamut, if you will, of options of getting into it. After that, you go into the basic settings. Currently with the game, it's actually really straightforward and to the point. You can put your server name in, testing for you to, you can max players, you can go from what you set to, to less. Uh, admin password, shouldn't have to explain that. Server password, I highly suggest you do that. Save game frequency and backup frequencies is sometimes this affects a game. Like you'll feel get real chonky in the, while you're playing regularly. This is typically what does it. So far we've streamed two times with this and I have not felt anything um, there. So I think the frequencies are fine and I have yet to have the game really crash on me uh, server wise. So anyway, uh, basically, that's how you set up your basic level of, of soul mass server. It's to the point. Now, let's say you want to have people that can turn on and off your server, access the settings or something like that outside of yourself, but you obviously don't want to give them your account information for G Portal. The way you manage that and the way I manage it for my mods is there's a permission permissions tab. You can sit there as long as the your your friends or your family have a, an account on G Portal. You can add them directly here by typing in their username and I'll add it to the list and they'll have access to this server only. So if you're running a game cloud and you've got like, like me, I've got like eight servers going on. And if, if people like, you know, if you need to have some people that are managing your arc stuff or you blah, 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 you can just do it here and, and you can just as easily remove people from it too. Another nice thing is scheduled restarts automatically which you could daily, weekly, monthly, you can choose what time of day and you can do descriptions. So if we want to, let's say we want to restart every morning at 4 a.m. Uh, 4 a.m. restart, save. There it is. Now it's gonna start restarting every day at 4 a.m. You also have the option of doing automated backups. Pretty simple interface here. Create a backup every day using your daily restart for creation. If your server's offline, we stop the three-day backup rotation. If the backups are older than 60 days, they will be deleted. So you can turn on automatic backups if you wanted to. Here's the manual one. You just click the button and it can do create a manual backup, confirm, and it'll back it up. There's your storage there. It's only taking 4.8 kilobytes out of 50. So then you can restore from that 
Also, you can dig this out of your file manager and have a backup to save on your PC if you want to do that as well. So generally speaking, it's very straightforward and easy to get your own Soul Mass server up. Actually, most servers, I've never really had a problem since using G Portal. Um, and I, I've enjoyed the customer service so far. Either way, that Soul Mass, that's the, this is a sponsor video from G Portal, and that is how you set up your server. <laughs>